Hi guys, welcome along to a Sunday special. Now, this is not what I was hoping to do for the Sunday special, and there may be another video coming out later. I've been making quite a lot of progress with the RC tractor, and I'd like to show you what I've done. But we'll see. I say, we'll find out. <laughs> if there's another video later on in the day, awesome. If there isn't, it did not go to plan. <laughs> but anyway, in the meantime, we've dug up this beastie. Uh, now, DJ did make some alterations to it, so it doesn't have the weird issue where if you want to be silly and drive it over places it shouldn't go, it bounced around a bit, but well, it's been fixed. <laughs> uh, tonight I've been playing about, I've put a beacon on the back, I have also added the FS15 steering wheel from the Chrome Big X. <laughs> Uh, the cab, uh, people were saying it's a little bit too shiny. I still like it. So I'm not going to change the uh, shininess in the cab. I like the polished effect. It's a nice clean cab. It looks cool with that new steering wheel. <laughs> but the, big get down. the biggest change that I have managed to achieve today is pretty epic. Now, if you remember, this thing did not have particle systems. It does now. All of them. <laughs> uh, this is quite an achievement. I actually made these particle systems as well. They're not quite perfect, but I do like them. Yeah, these ones are awesome. Those, the challenge I had was actually uh, getting these to work. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a method of choosing. I think I've pretty much got the script figured out. Um, the way the big M works is it just chooses whether to drop a windrow or not. Uh, looking at Giant's own ones, they have the same options, but they don't have the toggle. So it is either on all the time, or turned off. <laughs> this, you can toggle it, from making a windrow to widespreading. Uh, the challenge for me was getting the particle systems to go with it. They are built into the toggle animation, and scaling. And it's as simple as that. But it works! <laughs> so, the big M has had a revamp, this is with V2. It doesn't that just look awesome as it's going over all the terrain? There we go. Find some rough patches. We want to show you off. <laughs> it hugs the ground now. DJ has worked his magic yet again. I've also set it so you can't turn it on anymore once it's folded. Ta da! It'll complain at you. But I have not used this thing enough. This is a monster. It's a shame Giants didn't do it, because I'm not building the modelling parts to put the steering bit in there. <laughs> but yeah, I do like this beast. But it did need a revisit, did need a revamp. It has been a done. Happy days. One job down. Now I'll feed it to the guys, we'll go test it. It'll be a good time to do a silage episode, I think. See, you'll be interested in that. Ah, oh, you can uh, do the unfold. Oh, I wonder if you can do the unfolded while it's folded. Yes, you can. If <laughs> you should want to. <laughs> That's cool. But th this would literally make me claustrophobic in real life. Trying to drive down the road. That's the only viewing space you've got. There's more space out the back windows. That's crazy. But yeah, I think it's a, a couple of nice little touches. Well worth it. Hopefully we'll have somewhere to upload it once it's tested and pimped out. Happy days. But like I say guys, thanks so much for watching. There may be another video later on. There may not be. And uh, yeah... <laughs> My plan was for the RC stuff, and it's not quite worked out that way. But oh well. You got to see the big M, and the tweaks I've made to that. So that's something, if nothing else. <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to hang around. Catch you next time.